But the other thing too is you gotta click in the right spot, which is like right here. So there's one, and then the next one is in the east hall, which is right yeah, there. Yeah, that wasn't one fair. We had to click it. Magnets. You had to be like I real know. speedy yeah. here. Yeah. If I if I went back in time, I would go here and just fix those hot spots, make them more generous. So we got that. Uh, and then. Like Ooh. Oh, Whoa. I love Something that. Tells me I just succeeded in lighting the forge. Nice. Now, as of this year, I only f like just figured out how this puzzle is supposed to work for the key. And oh, yeah. I could not believe how embarrassed I was when I found out how it works. Um, and so I'm just going to quickly explain it to those that may be watching and have no idea. She's There's this. Sleeping. It's in the middle of the night, isn't it? That's right. It's in the Muta Sleeper, right? Yeah, I just forgot what time it is. Of course, Jane's. Uh, yeah, it's like 3.30 in the morning. Uh, but yeah, the Muta Sleeper labels everything um, perfectly. Once we... It's foggy out. What was that's, that? That's why it's dark. Whoa! I don't know. Nothing. Uh, oh, there's a scoop. Scratch marks. Like something was trying to get into my room. Ho, ho, ho. Now, there was Shame. actually another question from uh, Demon Baby Protector. They oh. asked, I uh, know, yeah, they asked, how do you trigger uh, the red footprints outside Linda's bedroom door and Nigel finding out that Nancy's a detective and what she was doing in the passageways with the chimes? Um, they said that both are very rare things other players have encountered, but not this person. Um... I actually you got to play the game over and over again. That's, that's and just talk it. to everybody um, about everything yeah. and explore everything. And but how can you expect to feel better if you don't eat properly? And from now on, just bring me what I ask for. A healthy digestive system cannot do without <laughs> roughage, you know. Yes, Mrs. Drake. Ah. <sighs> this charm would be another good thing to make too, actually. Mm. Yeah, this it's not as iconic though, but it is really cool. Yeah, like it's it's got a, a little bit, it's a little more niche, but hmm, looks like some sort of charm. Again, just think about having like having that hanging outside your own door. That'd be just the coolest thing. <laughs> um, but anyways, the fact that she said something about her diet makes me wonder: is oh, it's not here. Never mind. Um, just FYI, I've got the Granny Dream queued up for my own previous plays of the Perfect. Curse of Black Manor, so I can show Robert anytime oh, and yes. I can share Thank screen. You. Yes, 100%. Uh, what am I doing? I gotta go talk to you. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about the Muse Lever, uh, which is cool because if we look at it and go to the very last I'll page... I'll bet this book can help me figure out how to get that old forge going again, and maybe even how to find the Pendolin treasure. I like that she says that after we've lit the forge. Or lighted the forge. I don't know what the proper... Whoops. Um, anyways. This page right here is like Yay. the key to everything. Yes. You gotta look at all of these. The book. Is it Griffin? The Griffin? And a star and a whole bunch of other stuff. And then you gotta go down and you gotta do a bit more research. It's a bit of a laborious puzzle as well. But you gotta look at all of the... Yeah. of these and then look at the little symbols yeah, on key. here and then that will determine how this is supposed to look but because i'm mm -hmm. too lazy to do that By in one sitting different plugs, um, I can create different patterns i'm just going to look to my right and take a look at my notes so the medallion thing we we were we were thinking about um again it was late at night and we were thinking wouldn't it be funny when nancy walks into the into the door she hits her head on the metal <laughs> it's, it's hanging right there at eye level i love it that would have been great maybe second chance she pokes her eye out oh that would have been so funny i like too that we just look at this and there's just a black background it's not even like an overlay over top of where you're looking Oh, I found some logic notes about how the granny puzzle is uh, generated. Uh -huh. It's based on a, a probability. Okay, that's what I figured, yeah. Um, and there's a certain percentage tied to each grid piece. Right. Well, it makes uh, sense, because again, if you are playing that, and you know that you've got to get from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen, 
your first instinct would be to go straight across. And so right. the first tile would probably have the highest probability of getting the crocodile or alligator, like, right away. I'd assume. Uh, the first step in front of you going straight is a uh, 40%. 40%? Yep. Interesting. Okay. That's still a pretty high percentage. Yeah, if you go up or down, it's 10%, but if you're trying to go across from there, it starts to change. Yeah, it makes sense. The forge is lit! Yay! The forge is lit, mate! Wow, molten metal. Ooh. Don't she, touch it! Don't touch it! She touched it. <laughs> Listen to that there, that looks right. I like she just she just knows that it looks right. Like no problem. And that was That's... that was reused audio from Dangerous Deception Island too. <laughs> <laughs> Yay for S. Yeah. Oh, that's great. What was that what noise? You just that was found. Nice. It's mine. I'm the penguin, Whoa. not you. Besides, oh, we should've done a whip pan. Oh, that would be good. good whip pan. All day learning all that other Rock paper rubbish. scissors. What is that? What is that? Uh. It would have been funny if one of the options was like, it's a rock. <laughs> Looks it's to a me like a potato. Meteorite. <laughs> <A rock? laughs> the so boar's head pub really screwed up this time. A mystery and puzzles all because of a stupid rock? No way. There must be something <laughs> All I got was a rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's your Christmas Ooh. gift, Jane. You're going to let it happen? I'm going to let <laughs> it happen. I told you not to touch it. Because she's got a great line. I love that. <laughs> she's not even worried. She's like, get me out of She's like, Jane, I told you not to touch it. No, don't touch it! But it, it's hers. Oh, no. yes. Monty, help me! It's the it's Monty it's Python. It's dark in here. I told you to get me out of here, please! I'm sorry. You're like Indiana Jones. Before. Should've brought a sandbag. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's my fault, Linda Six. I mean, she's not really sick. Oh, uh, she's I getting the the, 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 the confession I her in her room out and of gave her allergy pills and put her medicine in a moisturizer. Why? That's I terrible. I just wanted to go away. I just wanted to be daddy and me and mommy. I like the bangs in between. Mommy. Yeah. Please don't make me talk anymore, Nancy. There's no air in here. Drama. I breathe. I've got to figure out it's a like way to get Scarlet that hand. box off of her um, fast. Now, this is a question from... Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Somebody asked about... Can you actually kill Jane just by leaving her in there? Or... Do you have infinite time? I can't remember who asked it, though. Um... Oh. No, there was no way that we were going to allow killing a child. Okay, I was just like, holy, because that, that would have been, like, real dark and morbid. Yeah, yeah. PR was like, nope. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, I see the big guy. Oh. Thank so you. She's holding a brain. Dear Ned. She made poor it's Linda. Jane. She it's Jane. She's monster. the beast. And she made me play games over and over. Unbelievable. She also Unforgivable. Mrs. Drake's allergy <laughs> pills into Linda's food <laughs> so she'd feel she woozy all the time. I know! For insurance purposes. To Needless to say, oh. Jane's father was very upset, especially when he found out Jane... And there's just like a real pill or a real bottle. Real That's not even CG. To get back together. After Jane apologized to Linda and Hugh apologized to both of French. them, they all resolved to do whatever it takes to become a real family. As for oh. Blackmore Manor, Ever since I told him about all the passageways and gadgetry I discovered, Hugh has become fascinated with his family history and has asked, what no, ordered Ethel, Ethel to teach this? him what she's taught Jane. And while he doesn't uh, believe for a second that the know. meteorite in that old alchemy lab has magical powers, he has encouraged Jane to come up with a puzzle to help ensure its safekeeping. Just as well, initiates have been duh. doing for centuries, that's what she has to do. which reminds me, that yeah, it's called Jane's Game Portal. When we see it in the, a few games later. So don't tell anybody any of this, okay? The Not only way to solve it is to match three of Brady Armstrong's head in a row. Been hounding me ever since. <laughs> this is just the kind of stuff he'd love to include in that unauthorized tell-all he's trying to write. No if he way. calls me <laughs> one more time, I'm telling on him to Mrs. Drake. <laughs> That'll teach oh, him. Oh, that should have been Ever a yours, separate. Nancy. I know. Well, that would have been good. Away. Oh, what'd you get? What'd you get? I bet you I got, like, the most generic one. Uh, Here it comes. 
<laughs> for all around super sleuthing. Sleuthing with an A! Oh my gosh! Is that Ooh. that's not right, is Slow it? Slothing. Slia slothing. Slothing. Oops. <laughs> right on. Slow All right. Thing. Now we get the uh, the lovely trailer for game number twelve, voiced by Max Holacek. <laughs> this is classic. The year is nineteen thirty, and everything is on the rise: unemployment, government breadlines, and organized crime. In the oh, they should have done like a, a scratchy, a scratchy, mm. with only like, a flashlight, a blue oh, nice and a spirited photo. resourcefulness. A 16 year old detective will go on to inspire hope in the hearts of young girls what and kisses that? upon the lips of evildoers everywhere. Oh, who is that? <laughs> I don't Her know. Name? Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. <laughs> Dong. Was it James? Was it James? Or Tim? Who was that? Who was I, that? I don't know who that, that was. No, it wouldn't have been Tim. There we go. Lead designer, executive producer, Mr. Robert Riedel. Blame, blame for everything. <laughs> First credit. Everyone there we else go. Did a great... Oh. Oh, man. That was a smaller art team, too, back then. Very small art team. Man. Like four... Four for four 3D. 3D. Yeah. Uh, is... Four for 2D. Oh. Yeah, and we didn't have many scene builders either. Lena and Anne, me. Amy Janice, um, she was uh, very present on the message boards too. We remember mm. her. Mm. Maureen Carroll, the last, the last one standing. Tuned in. Yeah, tuned in. Yeah. Tuned in. They always had like really cool office space, like on the waterfront in Seattle. Yeah, this is the Bridget song, right? This is yeah. the one, yes. Kevin Manthe, Kevin Reeple, Mike Paddy. Bill Corkery, Clatter and Din. Yes. Yeah, Bill Jeez. Bill Corkery and Lonnie still work together all the time. Oh, gosh. Like, I'm friends with Lonnie on Facebook, and it's just like every other day, it's like her and Bill in the recording studio. I'm not friends with Lonnie on Facebook. Oh, you should be. Uh, yeah, Connie Allen and Jen R Rizumna, Rizumna? Yeah, I don't remember her. Sarah Papadon. Look at Jonah, all those, all those. <laughs> yeah. And Max gets an announcer. 1930s radio announcer, I love that. Hey, we never, oh, we never talked to Leaky. Oh, we didn't shoot. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, see, there's Penny Milliken. Yeah, so she's in the credits there. There's me. Yay. There's Kalina there's Joyce. Nice. Oh. And my sister. You had more sisters that joined up later, right? Or another sister? I, yeah. Yes, I've got three sisters. That's right. Okay. Um, my my parents Quite wouldn't let the younger two ones play this game because it was too scary. <laughs> <laughs> they were what, like three I, I and I don't know, maybe seven, six oh, or okay, seven or yeah. something like that. Yeah, they were they were young. Oh, we timed the music. Yay! Credits were timed instead of being looped. Oh no. Oh, oh it's it's still going. Distributed by Atari. Yeah, this particular copy was, yeah. I don't think the other DVD case format ones were. No, it's just oh. scrolling over. Yeah, uh, that's it. Fun if, can, it got to like a good end. If, if I can share my screen, I can show you um, Granny's, the Granny's, Granny's, Granny's yes. Dream. Yes, let me. Okay, I'm going to do a quick cut so that nobody sees me changing things over. 